Well, my name is Grenvi Ijo, originally from Amazonia, and I was born in the city of Munya, that's close to Boya, to those who know. And presently, I live um, in Riverdale. I've always wanted to be an actor, though, right from back home. And some people say you're funny, and I've, I was in a bit of lot short place in Yaoundé. So then when I came here, so I got into, like, I just started doing some few write-ups, comedy write-ups. Then went into short comedy videos because I just like making people laugh. And because of the crisis going on in Abazonia right now, so, and I happen to be in a group with a movie producer and movie director, Dexter Brains. So when um, that was back in April or March, March of 2018, when us hit pay and dropped a, a trailer in the group and I'm like, so we have Ambazonians doing movies. That's okay, let me try. But before then, I've been like trying to get into the movie industry. I've written to a couple of people and no one got to me. I wrote to one called 99 and a lot of reviews I saw were very bad. Some, some people called me saying that I shouldn't go because they were going to get my money for, for nothing. So when I saw when Dexter dropped that trailer in the group, I said, okay, let me try. Let me see how I can, if I can get to him. And I wrote him on WhatsApp and he responded immediately. I was like, wow. So people can be this cool, like some directors can be this cool when you text them and they respond. So I told me, told me, and I told him I to act, and he asked me to send um, a couple of my, my things I've done. I told him I was a comedian too. So I sent him a short, like three videos, and he okay. He said, okay, he'll get back to me. So that was like a week after, and he sent me a message there. Hey man, can you come? Can you come in for a shot for a shoot? I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? That's how I got into it, and since then I've been working with him. We've done um, Patriots. That was the first movie I showed up in. I had just one tiny role, but that was cool though. And now went into Dynamic Range. It's pretty much. It's really, it's really good. Well, um, saying that being a super actor, nope. Mm -mm. I'm still an, an, let me, I'll put it this way, I'm still an upcoming actor trying to build, to build a path into the movie industry. So I um, see myself in Patriots and also in Dynamic Range, uh, I always say it's the grace of God. Yeah, because that's something I really want to do. I want to see myself going, I want to get myself into any movie I see right now. If I see the casting call for this, I'll run it. So it's just the grace of God, that's all I can say for now. Mm, I think new difference. Well, let's say from Patriot. Um, from Patriot to Dynamic Range, there's a lot of upgrade. Camera wise, acting wise, like the cast. So they're somehow kind of professionals now. And we have professionals too in dynamic range, of which we did not have in Patriots. But don't get me wrong, we had good actors in Patriots, but there is an upgrade co compared to what we have in dynamic range. Do not miss it. Do not. If you miss Dynamic Range, if you miss uh, the May 5th, well, I don't know. But you all need to be there. You need to grab your tickets, the limited spaces, grab your tickets, and come feel the action in Dynamic Range. Action like never before. One in the DMV. <laughs> ah, the bad guy. 
like, ah, I work with a bad guy. The boss, you don't want to temper with him. Well, I was just a messenger, act on commands, talk life. Well, you cannot, you cannot match it because that's, that's, those are two different things, two different personalities. On set, you're trying to, you're, like, you're acting a character which you're not. You're trying to be somebody. You're trying to fill in. Like, because in real life, you ju I'm just normal. I'm cool. I, I stay in my lane and I, I keep away from trouble. But on set, man, I had to carry the gun. I've never held a gun before. But I had to hold a gun, I had to shoot at people, I had to kill people, but. After something like that, when you do some touch movies, you just pray God it doesn't affect you in real life. I don't. I never want to be such a person in my life. Push, push, push. Go for what you need. If you really want to be in the movies, you want to be in the entertainment industry. The little opportunity you have, you should go for it. And um, if you get a chance to go into be on a movie and um, they give you just like a single role where you have to say just a word or where you just have to appear on the screen just for one scene without saying nothing, man, take it. Don't say, oh, I want to be in a role that they will see me all the time and I have a lot of things to do. That's not how we all start. There are people who started like that. But if you have something little, take it. That's how it started. You just have to be you. And most of the times, even if you know you're not professional in doing something, but if you have to act another character, you need to do it so good, do it so well that people will see it and applaud it. Oh, this guy is awesome. Talking about comedy, back in school, I wasn't really into comedy. Most of my time, I'll play around, play soccer, and just music. And my friends, one of my classmates, that was like last month, he called me. He's now in, um, he, he's in Europe. I don't know what country precisely. He called me like, man, how come you're now into comedy, but meanwhile back in school, we were the ones doing the comedy and you were just quiet doing your own thing. I said, man, you never know. There are some things that just that are in you, but you don't want to show it out because it's not the right time. 